And we are green at the green light. Hey! Oh, I thought you were going to start singing. Are we singing or what? I don't really know the song. I don't everybody know the song, knows. but I'll sing anyway. Our special guest doesn't know the song either. It's the Barrel of Buddies Getting into trouble Barrel of Buddies I always mess this up Better pour a double Drinking whiskey Having some beer Going crazy Come on here It's time for Barrel Buddies Barrel Buddies Those are fireworks, sir those were fireworks. Oh, that's yeah, beautiful. Yeah, those were fireworks. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We oh, are no. not. We are not a go right now. What? Yeah, we're not a go. We're not a go. Hang Is tight. it all that? Yeah, I thought we really, uh... Are you sure? Was you're going to try to find your stream. Hang okay. tight. No, no, it went! It went! It went! It just started! It just started, and it's good. Oh, it was, like, kind of potatoing out there. Welcome everybody. Oh. Oh, do we got some people in the chat? Wait. Please let us know if you can hear us. If we're if, can if you, you can see us? us. Come on now. Let us know. Check Just out these that. bolts. A roller coaster of emotions. There was it was oh. going and then it wasn't going and now it's going and you're here and we don't even know what's going on. So we're just gonna get started. Welcome to the Barrel Buddies. Hey. The Barrel Buddies. We have a great show tonight. Really? As you know, I, I don't even, it's like, I'm James. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going off our total, like, Yeah, I'm let's James. try this again. Okay. Hi, welcome to the Barrel Buddies. I'm James. I'm Zach. Jeez. And I'm BJ. Everybody's off their cues. Yeah, tonight. wow. <laughs> and we have a special guest for you in the house tonight. The one, the only, the Robin Hood of Wall Street, Greg Manorino. Welcome, 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 Greg. Welcome to the thank show. You, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're a little smooth brain tonight, so apologies, <laughs> apologies. Uh, but thanks for joining us. We're real excited to have you. And uh, this is your favorite once a week whiskey, barrel aged product, tasting and review show where we try something and we tell you all about it. And tonight, as James was going to tell us, we have a really great show. Why do we have a great show? So, first of all, if you go back a few shows, you know that we recently reviewed Gold Bar. Gold Bar whiskey. After, show us, show us there, Zach. Zach, can you take that Gold Bar mm. model and look at this? It's an actual Gold Bar. It's a, it's, it's, bar it's a gold. Fort Knox it's a Gold bar. bar of Gold. So, who do we automatically... Oh, hold on. You're almost in focus there. Pull it back a little bit. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. No, he's just trying to focus in the camera. Oh, that's not... Get it off the camera, Zach. All right, pull it back. Is it not working? All right. Get it out of here. It's gold bar. And then show the show the <laughs> black bar. Show the oh gold bar black. Gold bar black. Oh, new to the market, just released, and a double gold winner at the World Whiskey Competition, just like its original partner in 2016, but now in 2021, gold bar black. So, Woo! double wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> double cast. I want to show you something. These are balls. <laughs> <laughs> These are actual balls from a kangaroo. Kangaroo, yeah. Kangaroo. So, uh, we have a I have a friend of mine who's That's in the, a, a friend of mine is in the service. He, I can't believe those are kangaroo balls. <laughs> yeah. I almost fell over people. I almost fell over. Barrel buddies. I just have, have balls in my hand. <laughs> For the first time. It's barrels, buddies, and balls. There we go. <laughs> Quick backstory. A friend of mine, retired Navy, was uh, out in Australia on tour, and he brought that back as a gag gift. They were on his office desk. He recently retired in life, and he gave them to me as a parting gift and said, enjoy the balls. And, you know, uh, nothing says love more than giving you a set of actual dead kangaroo balls. Yeah. <laughs> dead kangaroo That's some balls. balls. That, nothing says love bigger than that. It's fantastic. I mean, do am I tell am I speak, do I always speak the truth? You guys know that. He only oh, speaks. Am I lying? <laughs> Come on, if someone gave you some balls, kangaroo balls, what would you do? And it's a bottle That'd opener, so it's that. dual purpose. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Grab the balls, open the bottle. <laughs> Grab the balls, open a bottle. Um, Zach, while we finish telling stories, would you be a good a good faithful host there and start pouring us some original gold bar? 
I can do that. All right, and I'm going to talk a little bit. Going back to the story, so if you go back a few episodes, you'll see that we had Gold Bar, just randomly picked it straight up. up. Is it straight up? Straight up and straight off. Oh, there's a sticker. You have to get all that sticker. No, you straight sticker up and straight up. Back. Come on now. We can do this. So anyway, brand new bottle. Hello there, everybody. We'll get to the chat here in just a minute and answer some of your questions. Boom. So we, we, did the, we did the Gold Bar review, and Gold Bar <laughs> reached out to us, and... Uh, Shout out to Gold Bar, friends up in San Francisco. And That's they right. said, hey, we want to send you guys a little treat. And they were gracious enough to uh, send us the double black. And we have a bottle of their Rick House, which will break out on another show. Absolutely. Um, and we had the bottles. And I said, guys, we need to do a side-by-side. -side. We have these gold bars. Mm. And I'm like, one of the first names that pop up in my head when I think of gold is the Robin Hood of Wall Street himself. Absolutely. Greg Manorino and gold. How's the gold market? Do you even talk gold Go, commodities? All, all the time. All the time. I love gold. In fact, it's how I started. I'm not kidding you. When I first started doing this, back, my goodness, after the meltdown, yeah. I said, well, what's, what's the best way for people to hedge themselves gold. in the future? And I said, gold and silver. It's really what hit me. So, you know, I've been Thank telling you. people to, you know, bet against the debt, become your own central bank. Always. Since always and that's how you do it if you're that's a faithful nice. watcher you know you buy hard commodities that's what this guy says has paid off for it's paid off for those of us that are listening um so bringing you into the history of of gold bar a couple of fun things so um owners and distillers of gold bar originally got mm. was in the wine trade um got into the distillation process throughout of san francisco as james had said um, but they do a couple of really interesting things a they are um, they are aging their product in fourteen hundred gallon wine barrels. Cool. Wow. That's super cool. Before the blend, so or no, that is the blend. So they're blending it into these fourteen hundred gallon wine barrels. These are huge oak vats. So you're getting a really interesting blending process, and you're doing it from the mind of of not only a distiller but a person who is thinking about the age and maturation process, um, it, you get a really unique product here. Super, super different. Um, and they're they're getting their juice out of Texas. So they're taking juice out of Texas. Uh, yeah, the, so a the base, grain product, yeah, a base whiskey from Texas. Taking it out to the beautiful, glory, glory, glorious hills of San Francisco, where we know that the, the, the Napa Valley does magic to wine. And it's working that magic on whiskey. And water, right? I think they use water from somewhere up in San Francisco. Well, no, because you're getting your, your product. I don't know if they're blending any water into this. No, but I, I wonder if they have their own mash bill that they're blending with juice from Texas. I don't know. Gold bar for watching, let us, let us know. I don't know, I don't know, but let's get to it. Um, but this was a great thing. We, we could not go back to the original gold bar tonight. Yeah, so we've had this. Greg has not had it. Greg is... Uh, we've been trying to... Uh, Teach him more about oh. whiskeys, bourbons, scotches. I need a lot of teaching. Yeah, so you definitely don't. We think you're definitely uh, up there. Uh, Not with this. I didn't even know what this color meant. <laughs> before you had to see me before, I was like looking at this stuff going, duh, duh. So what is this? Ton, this, this is tons good of does in the chat, by the way. Tons <laughs> of does. <laughs> duh. duh. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a great flavor. Duh. duh. It's, it's a duh. great value. Duh. duh. Um, and uh, listen, if you got the opportunity to get a hold of a bottle of gold, no, bar, it's readily available like everywhere. Go get it. This go is go to the liquor store. What do we pay for this? What do we pay for this? Uh, fifty bucks. Forty for to fifty. Forty to fifty. I've seen it for. Yeah, and it's well um, worth it. It's unique. It's a whiskey aged. You get a little bit of that wine taste on there. If you're a fan of both, and you're not a big, it's not. Oh. It's not like. It's not off-putting, right? I think this is a very approachable whiskey. 40%. Yeah, it's 40%. 40 if Can any I of you... It? Easy drink. Greg, drink tell it. us what you think. Oh drink tell it. us what oh, you my think. my second sip. Yeah. <laughs> mm. What do you taste? What are you getting out of that? Wow. That is interesting. Very unique. Right off the bat, I want to see maybe a, a little licorice or something. Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, that's that spice, right? You yeah. get that... Anise and maybe a little caraway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you get on your second sip? That blossom. Remember, three sip rule here. How about nutty? Yes. Nutty. Absolutely. Oh, cheers to that. Great. Nice. I called that cheers out last time we first had Is it. Is that right? Cheers Whoa. Yeah. Oh, cheers, to that. cheers all the way around. So, specifically, yeah. 
Bitto Honey. Think of Bitto Honey. Oh yeah. my god! Yes. Bitto really? Honey! Bitto yeah. Honey! Bitto Honey! Don't peanut, do that to me! That peanut this butter This guy honey does this sugar. to me all the time. And we were, we, like, we were mulling that over for a while. Like, <laughs> Forever. This is like a candy from when you're a little kid. Yeah. I love that this and is yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's on the tasting notes. I uh, yeah. mentioned honey. Bitto Honey. Oh, yeah. Bitto Honey. Like honey, honey. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like a bit of honey. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait a minute. So all right, go back to third. childhood and remember that. And think about that bit of honey in that third. You're like, I've never had a bit of honey. Redbeard. We need to chat. Red beer. We picked up four bl- four bottles of Glen Alecky. Guess what showed up in Las Vegas it today? It showed up in Vegas, batch yeah, three. Out of Hold nowhere. On, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. I just got another one. Wait okay. I, I'm, you are you ready? We're ready. I, I'm afraid. Uh-huh. I got like a little vanilla bean here. Yeah. Okay. You should. Yeah. You should, definitely. Whoa. You should. Wow. Yeah. And see, that's what's glorious about drinking good whiskey. Because it should have a nice complexity... Let's you find interesting things. Mm-hmm. It's not one sided that lets you go, oh, okay, yeah, this is boring. Instead, it's something new every time you And, and here's the thing. No, seriously, from mm-hmm. a guy that really, I don't drink too much, most of you probably know that, but this stuff, I mean, the, the licorice, the bitter honey, the yeah. vanilla bean. There's go a lot get some of this. There's this a lot to it. Kill, this is yeah. killer. Double gold winner in 2016, so this is obviously not just, you know, some fly by night whiskey. This is a legit product, yeah. and I'm telling you, for a West Coast, you got it. This is the best whiskey you're not drinking. Right. This is the best whiskey you're not drinking. And it's a gold bar. Come on. It's now. a no, gold it's bar. It's done. Lions. It looks awesome. Lions. The pack Lions need a gold bar in their clothes. Lions need <laughs> freaking gold bar. I, yeah. I would never steal you guys. If you get bar. burned in the market, you can at least rely on your gold bar whiskey. Like a day like today, you know, no one was happy. I was happy the market fell because I like buying low. You That's right. High. But if you were not happy, this would fix you. <laughs> right the freak out. This is like drinking the sorrow, drinking yeah, the yeah, sorrows yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. We're drinking, we're drinking yeah. But we're, we're getting a lot of buy the dips in the chat. By the like, freaking, did you see what dip. Elon did to cryptocurrencies, yeah. everybody? Oh, he did us a favor. He did us a favor. He did us a favor. Did us a favor. Three cheers for Elon Musk. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Buy the dip. <laughs> Yeah, because that's exactly what I did. When I saw that dip, I ran upstairs to my computer and I bought, 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 yeah, bought, bought. That's right. That's right. Yep. Yeah, today has been Elon, great. Elon, I got some balls for you. <laughs> <laughs> and they're hairy, too. I think you'll like it. Yeah, help us out today. Tons oh, of yeah. lions and lionesses in the chat. Welcome, everybody. Welcome again. Wait a minute. I have to give a shout out. I love my, my lions, but my lionesses, I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Come wow. on. Wow. <laughs> so we got a lot of uh, dips bought. Dips bought. So, yeah. My lions and my lionesses know what to do. They're looking at this market yeah. and they are laughing their asses off because they knew this was coming, number one. I told everyone, I want to see a dip in this market and cryptos. I've been telling Crypto. them this for weeks. Yeah. Now we got it. I love it. I could, I could not be more well, happy. Yeah. In a couple yeah. weeks from now, don't be I, saying they missed the uh, dip. We had the chance. This exactly. Is Come on. Yeah. They, see, look, I don't have to tell this to my people because they already know. Yeah. They yep. already know. They know. Do you see what's happening right now in the Middle East? There's more missiles firing. Oh, Guess we could have a war. Guess what's going to happen right to crude oil? Oh, it's going to be lovely for us. Oh, and with the pipe between crude oil and this pipeline shutdown, <laughs> that's going to be shooting the uh, crude oil and gasoline prices up. Three to six cents are. daily. Yeah. Gas no, and daily. Daily. Three no, no, ninety. No, no, we have the chat here. Too. So my lions, let me ask you a question. Why are we seeing this? What are they trying to hide? Ah, yes. Inflation. They're going to hide inflation and high energy prices. That's what they're doing. This is all a setup, and I told everyone to expect it. And every time we... A couple days ago, crude oil took a hit. Okay? Yeah. I told everyone... I said, watch what they're going to do. Whammo, Middle East. Hey, you know, let's, let's fire a couple of hundred missiles yeah, into Tel Aviv. Yeah, you know? we got that's missiles. Gonna be yeah. And I'm having some nuts now. Not there balls. Not balls. Nuts. 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 Right. Not <laughs> balls. So, no, so, not balls. No, not balls. So No, but I'm backwards here. Yeah, <laughs> nuts and balls. But, nuts but and, and nuts. balls. It's like Franks and beans. Nuts and balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so consensus on Gold Bar. I'm still on. This is a go-getter, top of my list. What, what did we rate Gold Bar last time? So, Beej, you gave it a total score. Wow, you gave it a nine and a half 
Because I gave it the Lone Way, right? The Lone Way bonus. And I stick by that 100%. I gave it a 3 on the nose, a 2.5 on taste, a 3 on the value, and I gave it a Blown Away bonus, probably on value, because you're not going to get anything this good for that price, in my opinion, but... Go back and watch the show, and, and you you know. But yeah, I stick by that nine yeah. and a half. This is I, killer. I gave it a seven, respectable for me. Zach gave it a six and a half. I think the solid scores for what we give. Oh yeah, um, yeah, very good, very good across the board. So let's get into this black. I was I just can't gonna wait. say let's get. Into I can't wait. Black. Get into the black. No, we're not going to finish it. No? We want you to compare. Oh, okay, I can't finish yeah. it. Yeah. You did, yeah. Listen, there's going to be plenty of time to sit back and enjoy this. We've got so many people, so many things. I finished mine. Zach, would you like to? Uh, <laughs> good, good pour, would you like to pour the next? Yeah, oh, let's get into Zach, it. Zach, can you turn on Sputnik? Let's get onto it. Zach. So there's there, 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 Greg. We have one question that I'd like to ask you because no. I'm actually very curious. No. How do we protect yeah. ourselves against inflation? What do you recommend investment wise? My God, man! Like I've been telling people since like forever. I mean, in theory. Okay, in theory, we already know what's going on here. We should be hoarding physical gold, physical silver as inflation hedges. Okay, we're going to, as the dollar dies, which it is going to, okay, yeah. um, you would imagine things that are priced in dollars are going to skyrocket in value. But we, are, we have the largest bank in the world, which is JP Morgan, that is deliberately rigging the price. They eight months ago paid a $9 billion fine. That's all they're going to get. But we will continue to play our game. They're going to play their game. They're going to rig the price. We're going to play our game. We're going to buy it. And I love JP Morgan for this reason. As a matter of fact, I own a lot of their stock. That's really the truth. I really do. And, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of sleeping with the enemy, I suppose. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's how you do it, man. And, you know, look, right. take advantage of every freaking thing there is out there. Don't let one single thing get by you. My lions know this already. My and then, lions know it. And then what about crypto? Is that another sound uh, investment? I love, absolutely, I okay. do. As the dollar is dying, where do you want to be? You want to be in the dollar? Duh. Duh, duh, duh. No. You want to be out of it. Okay, I, that's why I've been such a big freaking crypto bull for the longest freaking time. Yeah. And I will continue. In fact, like I said, to, I, look, I want to... I want to kiss Elon Musk's balls after what he did today. Okay, Elon, I would kiss your balls. That was a great thank you for doing that for all of us. You know, you made the... I mean, you know, I've been waiting for this for the longest time, and wow, you know, you strike. That's what I did, and that's what you guys did too. I know you did. Yeah, so uh, some people have been asking, where, where's Jamba? So for those that don't know, Jamba is our He's bourbon lion. She is definitely part of the Lions. Bourbon cat. She is uh, bourbon cat. Where is the bourbon cat? Uh, oh, I... I she so she came over for those that just joined us. She came over earlier before the show. Yeah. And but then she's now she's sleeping over oh, in the living room. So hey, it's Jamba, you gonna join us? Jamba, we'll see. Give her a minute. She she's she'll, old. She'll she's get old. curious. She'll get curious. All right, on over here. Okay. I oh listen. The so, color. The color. Well, why don't we talk about oh, the differences sweetie. first before? Oh yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. So what did we what did we just pour Ooh, here? Ooh, different color. Okay. So this is the this is the uh, gold bar black. This gold, is a gold bar double black. cast. Double cast. Hell yeah. So that means that means it's been aged Look at that. in two different Perfect. barrels. First, aged in brand new charred American oak barrels. Okay. Then after some time there, it is then blended and re-aged into a second French oak wine barrel. Mm-hmm. If you know anything, if you've watched any of my wine shows, I am a sucker for French oak when it comes to wine. It brings out big, bold, spicy, bold notes that I cannot wait I to, to say come it. through this. Big bold balls! Big, big bold. <laughs> so most, a lot of people in the chat are asking if uh, Greg here will kiss these balls by the end of the night. We'll Done. see, we'll see, we'll see. I'll do it. For a thousand dollars. Okay. Wow. I will kiss the balls for a thousand bucks. Does it have to be? You don't want dollars. Will you take like that in crypto? Yep. Any form, any, any, any form form of payment. Payment. I will not kiss those balls for less than a thousand. Get this man a thousand. Get him a thousand <laughs> bucks. You guys, I'm sure if all of you in the chat put in five bucks, you have the thousand to <laughs> give to. Oh yeah. Him right now to kiss live on the show. Yep. Done. 
All right, so one thing I wanted to talk about. You're just like, oh yeah, he'll do it. He'll do it. I'll, listen, if you if you do that, I'll do it too. Yeah. I'll do it like we're all doing it. I think we'll all do it. Four thousand bucks. That'll buy, that'll buy us a new, a new if, equipment for if, the show. If Rick, if Rick gets a thousand dollars to help him get a thousand bucks, I kiss those balls. <laughs> oh jeez, let's do it. We're cra- everybody's cracking up in the are, chat. Are, are we getting are we getting tips? Let's see. Is it, <laughs> is it happening? Is it happening? We're getting a tip, but I don't know about tips from the show. Hey, balls, okay. balls only. Balls. All right, get our composure back. All right, tell me One about thing, this double cast. First, that I want to mention is proof. Okay, so. If those of you uh, remember the last Goldbar Review show, one this. thing one thing I was a little mad about was the the eighty proof that regular Gold Bar was coming in at, which is you know forty yeah. percent alcohol, but that makes it very approachable, right? But I'm I'm one of those guys that like the barrel proof. I like a little bit more kick. Oh, yeah. You're getting that with the black. So with the black, they upped it. It's ninety two proof, ninety two proof. So we're getting what's that? Forty six percent alcohol now. So Which, we're up to forty six percent. That extra six percent is that's gonna do difference. something. That's gonna be a big difference. Yeah, Ooh. it is. It will. So um, again, you got juice coming in from Texas. Yeah. Which we've got yeah. our guesses on which brothers are supplying the juice on this. <laughs> um, that's just our guess. Is it the? Oh, I won't say anything. Exactly. The <laughs> brothers. Whoa. We think it's the brothers. This? Why do I smell barbecue when I'm smelling this? Or did oh, you yeah. like put your dirty fingers yeah, in this yeah. glass? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a little Zach special for you. Does this? <laughs> what is that smell? Oh, yeah. oh, it's like smoke. That smoky. right there. It's like no, smoky no. barbecue. That is the French. It is barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah, it's barbecue, barbecue sauce. sauce. French oak wine. That's what that is. And that's barbecue sauce? It smells like barbecue sauce. It's exactly. like barbecue sauce. What? I know how it's you, so random. No, how do you describe barbecue sauce? Rich and bold. How did I just describe French oak wine barrels? Boom! Rich, rich and, bold. and bold. Rich and whoa. Bold. Well, bold. cheers. Cheers, bold. guys. Did, so, I say, did I say bold again? You know the other thing I get in this? So I get a huge thing of French vanilla. That almondine oh, vanilla cream. Uh-huh. Whoa, it's barbecue. It tastes like barbecue. All right, do I do it now? Yeah, Am go I for in? it. So I'm seeing toffee, caramel, spicy Ooh. rye, and vanilla. Ooh. Also smoke. I'm getting a ton of barbecue. Wow, that's yeah, a lot barbecue, of smoke. Barbecue, barbecue sauce, 100%. I want this with a brisket, oh. a rack of ribs, this a is pulled pork smooth. sandwich. Oh, wow. Okay, it's much smoother. smoother. Spicy but it's higher rye. alcohol. But it's smoother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's proofed up. Wow. But yeah, the um, with it with it sitting in that that extra barrel. That is interesting. Maybe that that's what kind of takes away the. Uh, Very interesting. Wow. Yeah, wow. It really so the finish, the finish is so smooth and creamy, really vanilla. I mean, it creams out creamy. the vanilla. Dude, and that sticks Good on your boy. tongue too. Oh wow! Any any of our viewers out there that are drinking with us, cheers out there. Oh, cheers, the viewers. Cheers. Let us know what you're drinking in the chat. Dude, that Whether is it's barbecue. some uh, Mad Dog Zima. Boone's Farm, yeah, let us know in the chat. Dude, I would totally drink this with... Jimmy, yeah. you just missed it. We just talked about the Elon tweet. We just had a whole rant from the man himself. So you know you have to go You'll back. You'll have to go back and watch later. Watch Basically, I and said, I want to kiss his balls. <laughs> what he just did. Okay, Elon, I want to kiss your balls, and I'll do it for free. I'll do. I'll kiss your balls for free. <laughs> wow. So, you know, it's like... I'm going to ask financial advice from the chat. And I asked the Robin Hood here of Wall Street earlier... So he said in that tweet, if you guys see that screenshot, he wants Tesla to start investing in crypto that doesn't use a lot of energy, that's not Bitcoin, that he wants to start partnering with. What do you guys think, speculation-wise, what that could be? So some people were saying it could be Cardano, Nano, Stellar Lumens, any you, experts out there, let Did us know. Did you not watch Saturday Night Live? I think it's going to be... Dogecoin? No, no, no. Oh, that that, thing that came and coin. went. We've missed the boat on Dogecoin. You know, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boat. Is that a thing called Dogecoin? Le, Le Doge? Le Doge? Le Dog. I know, he might have killed Dogecoin on Saturday. Maybe, like, yeah. I think he killed that. He likes to play games like this, this guy. Come on. Yeah. Remember years ago, everyone, with that 420 thing with Tesla stock? Oh, yeah, or funding secured. Funding yeah. secured. Or you when know, was the SEC did the investigation? No. You could maybe trade, trade short term around Elon Musk, whatever comes out of his mouth. But if you want, don't invest with Elon Musk. I mean, if you want to own Tesla, that's a whole different story. Oh, so we're getting we're getting a lot here. We get people saying uh, XRP. So what is that? Ripple, ETH2, Dash, Ethereum. Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum two. Um, 
I don't know. All right, we'll see. You know, we have people. We have people out there drinking right. Bushmills. We got prisoner wine. We got a Ooh, lot prisoner people. Prisoner. People from Ireland. How's it going, Darren? Uh, 19 Forester, great. Oh yeah, it's a great bourbon. Uh, Brunello is, yeah, di Montalcino. We got some wine drinkers out there. Oh, Brunello. Yeah. You are good. Like, hey, like, hey, hold on. If you're cool. drinking yeah. the Brunello, you must yeah. be an excellent cork soaker. <laughs> <laughs> Redbeard, we definitely will have Greg have, uh, try some of the Glen Alicky. Yeah, sure. absolutely. For sure. You know, Zach just said something that is so true. Going back to this real quick. Please do, yeah. This would be amazing, like at a barbecue. You have yeah. a barbecue, you break this yeah. down. This would fit, I mean, this would knock your socks off. You give me a plate of barbecue Dude. by the pool with this, that's Dude. trouble. From what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're having a party here on July 4th. We surround. You gotta see the yard here. You would, like, have we're a heart attack. Gold bar. Shout out know. to Gold Bar. Hold on. Shout out to Gold Bar. We're gonna do the show, 4th of July. We're more than willing to take some more Hold on. Uh, black for Hold the on. <laughs> Please follow us at The Barrel Buds on Instagram. Instagram. And if we could please get Gold Bar hashtag official whiskey of 4th of July. Twin, twin oh, yeah, at Gold it. Bar yeah. hashtag official whiskey of 4th of July. Wait a minute. Because this is an American it. whiskey. I think, <laughs> I think you'd blow them up. This would, this would push them over the edge. Because again... Yeah. These guys are. These guys just released whiskey. two more whiskeys that were double gold winners, and I think we should. I think we owe it to them as Americans, and as <laughs> as members of the wow. world, to push them over the edge and make this the next big thing. So we'll do the show live out out by the pool. Wait a minute. What do you I got? got an idea that I think is going to be amazing. Here. What do you got? Why don't we invite you guys to a freaking July Fourth party here with me and these guys? Yeah. Let's do it. Come on, man. It would be insane. Oh, man. Watch the chat. Watch the chat. (laughs) (laughs) July 4th party (laughs) right here with us. Come we're, on. We're going to take all the gear out to the pool. We're going to have a whole pool party. It's going to be great. This would be freaking epic. I've been wanting, no, I'll be honest with you. A couple years back, some some of you remember, I did a little get together over at one of the casinos out here. I forget which one it was. And we had we had like fifty or sixty people that we had a blast. Wow! We could have such a party here; it would be outrageous. And I'm telling you, it would go it would go viral because everyone would share yeah. it. Guys and girls, girls especially, you know, <laughs> you know, I'll, I might even pay to see some. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I think one of us has plans to go to. We have an Indian reservation that's uh, about an hour away where they sell uh, fireworks. So, for those that don't know, unfortunately. Um, in the city that we are in, which most of you know, uh, fireworks that are legal, but fireworks that are not legal are ones that shoot from ground to air. So anything that shoots in the air out here in the desert, we can't have. But there's an Indian reservation that doesn't abide by normal law. And sells those. And sells those. And we may end up bringing some back. We need to mortars. go... Mortars. Mortars. We need to go buy, we need to go buy some... I want to buy some mortars. <laughs> We're going to use some uh, crypto so profits to buy mortar shells. We might buy some Love mortars. It. We'll Maybe. literally be burning money in the backyard on 4th of July. That'd be great. Come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, it's you a win-win. Win. Win. Right, let, let me ask you. All those, how many of you that are watching right now would come to our July 4th party with the Battle Buddies and yeah. me? We got come bar- on. How yeah. many of you are going to come? Dude. Let me hear from you right now. Dude, yeah. Barbecue. We have barbecue. barbecue. The we got the black. We got fireworks. fireworks. We got everything. Come on, man. Uh, the hashtag gold barbecue. So people are asking gold what the barbecue. entry fee is. So some people says, is it a bottle? Is it what? what, what what's the entry fee? Entry um, fee? Nothing. Just come and have fun, goddamn it. Just come and have fun. I love this. Is this is? I don't know. I mean, if you like blown me away, if you like this liquid this smoke, good. regular yeah, gold bar, then you gotta love gold so, bar. So much to yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, you know, they're so they, they're so different. I mean, this. Yeah. I could see this definitely when we this black one here having this at a barbecue, but this one here, this is the old one. Let me let me, let me try something here. I'm gonna tell you. So this evokes a memory. You tell me what you think, and then uh, I gotta tell you about it. Almost. Whatever. All right. It's not safe to shoot the fireworks in the. Oh, what is it? Is it safer to shoot fireworks in the desert? So at that Indian reservation, you're supposed to buy them there and shoot them off right outside. They have like this concrete. 
Because it's everybody like, does that. Because pe- people do that, right? You gotta shoot them off here. No one Actually, does that. No. They buy them there, and then they go drive back to their respective cities and break the law. That's the problem. But there are times that you can go. Like, I've been to the one in Moapa. Yeah. Where, like, people are shooting off fireworks in the middle of the night. Dude, there's people that, they're like people like timing this. They say it's a three and a half hour drive. They're going to get a carpool. And like there's people ready. Dude, let's do it. I'm not kidding. (laughs) Dude, I'm not kidding. Well, these people are coming from LA. Do you want to do it? I'm for it. I'm all for it. Guys, listen to me. Stop putting two tents on this side of the house. Oh my God. How do you do a share? July 4th. We do a big share. I'm going to be here. You're oh, gonna be here. We get and picnic tables. So there's, gonna be there's here. no oh, entry. Gonna be here. Go Bar Black is going to be here. Yeah. There, there's no entry fee, but we would encourage you to bring a bottle of something. Yeah. Bring something to share. Some alcohol, yeah. Because you're sharing with your fellow lions and lionesses. Yeah, and, we're not providing and your fellow barrel buddies. Yes. So I yeah, mean, I, I mean, I'll provide is, some uh, Kirkland Light. Ooh. Some do they there. still make that? I don't <laughs> think they do. I, I was going to say, do you have them in the, the very, very back of the fridge? Because I haven't seen them in a while. I'm eating all your nuts. Not He's your balls. Yes. Your nuts. I'm not eating your balls. The balls come next. Nuts. All right. So, <laughs> so, nearest airport. McCarran International. McCarran International, for those that Vegas. know the airport. But if, if you didn't know, we live in Jeez. Vegas. We are broadcasting live. Oh. From Las Vegas. Yeah, Las some people Vegas. are saying we need an invite list. We need to start getting that going. Oh my um, God, no one you know. People, come We haven't to... seen no one you know on this show <laughs> this in forever. Oh, oh no one you know. You, we, we brought you I up in what? a show like 10 episodes ago, and we were like, whatever happened to no one you know? And we said, we don't know. We don't, we don't know, know them. They stopped showing well, they're up. They're back. So. All right, I'm I gonna, think I'm I enjoy share this memory. way too much. We, we got to <laughs> share. I'm going to share this memory, and then we got to do a score. So this reminds me, growing up in in northern Nevada, we had this really small mom and pop smokehouse. Like, if I was older, I probably would have been scared of the place because a smokehouse out in the middle of nowhere is a scary thing. Yeah. But it does evoke this memory of an old school smokehouse where they're like smoking their own meats, and it has that. It has that smell, where it's yeah. like fresh smoked meats. If, if those of you in the Midwest and in the Northern United States or anywhere where they cure their own meats, you know what that smell is when you walk into a, a butcher shop that's curing their own meats and smoking their own meats. That smell right. lives in this whiskey. It's amazing. It's amazing. So uh, let's get into it. Knows. Let's go scores. So, I don't think the nose does it justice. I, I think on the nose, I'm going to give it a two and a half. Okay. Um, it doesn't get a solid three because I think that the flavor, I, I was I was hoping for a little bit more out of the nose. What but I, the yeah, heck? Yeah. Are you saying the flavor is so good that it takes away score from the nose? Yeah, I know. I, I know. The nose, yeah. What's I wrong feared, with you? And that's not a bad thing. I get it, but I'm just I'm giving it a two and a half. I'm giving it a two and a half. Zach, uh, <clears throat> I really enjoy the nose. I'm gonna give it a three, uh, just because of that smoky flavor is and those. What is it? The uh, French white oak barrels that give it that Zero flavor. Three. It's it, it's Zero amazing, oh, and on. it reminds oh, me of barbecue. I want to drink this at a barbecue. All right, well, be- and we all. I'm going to be. I don't know about you. Yeah. So BJ, why don't we go over our. Uh, Scoring. How Frank here score? just asked a great question, which was, what is the score? Is it one to three? And I said, hold on, I'll explain it to you. It's actually zero to three. Because you could hate it and give it a goose egg. Um, but yeah, we typically will give it a one to three. Um, one is, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Two is, it's what I expected. It's, you know, it's good. Um, and three is, wow, I, I super love it. Um, and that's pretty much the scoring system for everything we will discuss tonight. So, zero is, I hate it, and I don't want to give it a score at all. Uh, one is, yeah, it's okay, or I don't really like it, but it's, it's okay. Two, yeah, it's good, I like it. Three, holy cow, I love it. That's the basic principle here. Uh, I'm giving this a three. I, I think that the nose is incredible. Um, it evokes a nice smoky, oaky... Vanilla and an emotional callback to a memory as a child that I just don't find in a lot of things. 
and I, I, it, it draws me in. It, it makes me go, oh my god, I have to know what that tastes like. Uh, a three. All right. So, flavor. Greg, what's the verdict? What did you give it? Oh, great. I'm, I'm up there too. I'm, I, I love it. I think I'm gonna give it a three. Yeah, yeah that's, it. that's my that's man. It. All right. Wait, did you give it a three? Uh, yes. I do. That's my man. Did you give it a three? Yeah. All right, here's why. Here's why. Like, so the smell transfers into the flavor. Mm. And, and you just want it. Like Absolutely. You, like, you smell it, and you're smelling barbecue. You're tasting oh. it, and you want to eat barbecue. And it, it, it has a little bit, I don't know if we've, we mentioned it, it's got a little bit of, a, like, a spicy rye. It does. Kind of does. To it. it does have And that. I'm not a rye fan, but I like this. Yeah. I'm a fan. I mean, like, it's... It, it, the, the flavors meld together to make that rye just perfect. I, I'm a fan. All right, so what score would you give it on the flavor profile? Well, that was the, that was my flavor. So you gave it eight? So three. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So no, it's three. Flavor, three. Thank you very much. <laughs> Greg, what are you thinking about the uh, the flavor? What are you thinking about what this black, this black, gold bar black does I for I freaking you? love it. I'm definitely going to give it a three. Hundred percent. Anything, anything you want to call out on the flavor? As yeah, far as it, well, I, honestly, I mean, I'm gonna echo him. I, the first thing I said was, "Wow, I want to have a barbecue." Hence, both why let's get to have a party. Let's have here. a party. You know, come on, man. I mean, it really it makes me want to go eat a barbecue. I, yeah. I can't tell. Really, guys, try yeah. this. Go pick up a bottle and tell me that you don't want to have a barbecue after this. And I'll, sure I'll follow it on, on my blog too. Tell me what you think. It's a so, must-have. So, it's a must-have. So you know, it's kind of weird. What what I was expecting, like when I when I hear it's uh, uh, this was double cast right into uh, uh, an additional wine barrel. I was expecting wine. Like I yeah, was really same. expecting, yeah, just like little wine, fruity wine, yeah, and that's it. Like, like oh, okay. not much, and for me, I'm not much of a wine fan. But it gave it just a completely amazing taste to it. I loved it. Yeah. Oh. And yeah, you know, like BJ, you, you you described it. Mm. What the the flavors that come out of you know the um, that, that wine that beer. rich and bold. So oh, that's uh, awesome. French oak, like I said, I think French oak is is an excellent <clears throat> barrel to really highlight some really bold flavors that might get lost in an American barrel, an American oak aging process. Um, in this, the flavors that I'm picking up in this, it definitely that that barbecue smoke. And when we're talking about barbecue smoke, we're not talking about charcoal briquettes. We're talking about Traeger wood pellet or wood fire smoke. I mean, you can taste the char of the barrel, but in the best way. This is like the glowing coals of wood fire cooking. It, it is ridiculous. I'm also picking up hints in the best way possible of like sweet pork or bacon. Ooh. Like I keep thinking of like I keep talking about meat and and I've decided that it is like a like a smoked pork or even a bacon a curing process like a maple cured bacon. Dude, now I, hey, I'm Rick, that's that. definitely true. No, I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, pork or something. Now. Yes, absolutely. And just really quick, that. really quick, guys. Um, a lot of people are asking us. And Redbeard, I, I saw you mention it a few times about the super chat. Unfortunately, we can't enable that super chat nice. yet and take tips. Uh, we're not monetized yet. Uh, nah, unfortunately, nah, nah, nah. we are 1,000 hours into our 4,000 hour viewing requirement. So we need, watch. we need 3,000 more viewing hours of shows. So if you guys can just put a show on, mute it, put it in the background, yeah. and go do on, something, you, would, you could get us monetized in no time. A if all of, of you guys could do that, would be we'd love you guys for it. That'd Listen, cool. my yeah. lions out here, I am counting on you. I am counting on Help you. Help us get monetized. Because, huh. listen, all the money that we can get from YouTube is going right back into bottles. And Always. we're just going to review for you guys. And more parties! Always. More yeah. parties! More bottles, um, more fun. Yeah. Finishing up the two so. things more that balls. I... More, more balls! balls. Yeah. We should sell, we should <laughs> sell really really ball ball. bottle openers. Barrel Buddy... Uh, Ball we can probably get someone, anyone in Australia out there that has a <laughs> that has a lead on real balls. Let us know. Oh, kangaroo party balls. favors or what? I are, I don't know if kangaroos are like endangered or something. Maybe yeah. we shouldn't have those. I don't know. I, I don't know. know. Do they eat kangaroo? Right? You get kangaroo. Yeah, trigger. kangaroo is like a deer. Kangaroo yeah. is like yeah. a cow of All Australia. Right. Yeah. The cow of Australia. So. All right. Um, the last couple of things I'm going to call out here. I think that there is a fruitiness to this. I'm thinking like apple pie. 
like a baked like apple. Long baked apple bar. Like a baked apple. I think that's the fruitiness here. And I do. I said it earlier. I think it gives way to a a nice creamy vanilla, and it lasts. I mean, it stays on the palate. This is a three, hands down, a great flavor profile. Gold bar. You're working your way to a perfect ten in my book. So. Dude. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm. What did we? What did you guys give it so far? Give me a recap. Uh, that's a three. Yep. Three. A three. A three. So we get double threes. I love so the taste. So three in the nose. Three I, in the taste. I love it too. I'm giving it a three. Oh! I, I think, oh, oh, oh! Woo! Yeah, and, and guys, you all know me. If you go back in our prior shows, I'm very, very like picky with some of the stuff we drink. But this is so unique. It's so different. Uh, as Greg mentioned, everybody, like, I want this at a barbecue. I need barbecue. We should have ordered like Jesse Ray's or some shout out to Jesse Ray's barbecue out here in Vegas. Yeah. We should have got some barbecue. I want brisket or a rack of ribs i want to be out barbecuing at the pool hanging out with friends you this know is what? exactly All that what thought. and, and, and bj oh. here was right if if you guys are going to come to this party bring a bottle okay? bring a bottle bring a bottle of something so there's your entry free bottle of gold yeah bar. that's the bottle entry of gold fee. bar whatever just bring a bottle of something and, and it'll be a lot of fun all right so now we're on to value so bj why don't you kick us off on value so I Gold Bar is new to the area. I don't even know what Gold Bar Black is running for. Can we look it up really quick? Um, Total wine. So at um, at least it was sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. Okay. So we got fifty and sixty. So I'm guessing yeah, it, that's at least though. So uh, I've know, I've seen it. Yeah, around sixty is fair. Yeah. It's a fair price. So let's say it's yeah. fifty to sixty. Fifty to sixty for this. Who am I kidding? That's a deal. That's a freaking deal. Yeah, Come I on. Like, That's a free. <laughs> what a value. This is insane. There's nothing else like it that I've ever had. We have been going after some of the most unique flavored whiskeys recently. Um, yeah, this is not your run-of-the-mill grocery store whiskey. Three. Easy. All right. There you have it. What do you guys have? <clears throat> well, let Greg, me say, I, I've come to a couple of your shows and I brought over a couple of bo bottles that were pricey. Pricey. And this is better. So absolutely, this is a three. <laughs> absolutely, this is a three. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say the same. Um, <clears throat> going from regular gold bar to uh, the double cask, um, the, the flavor transfers, but then this becomes a completely different animal. After uh, that, that that second um, iteration of uh, casking, and and I, I I would absolutely fucking buy this uh, for. Hey, watch like, that! Watch the F word. Oh, the yeah. F word! Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I think we're, we're an adult show. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'm gonna give it to three because I would totally buy this. There's a lot of if talk I about to have a barbecue or uh, something. You know, this pairs perfectly with something like that. There's a lot of ball talk in the chat, so I'm sure that he can say those any types of well, we could, well, we could We could also put a little beep in there. Just oh, yeah, we will. We'll, we'll edit it in post. post. I'm sure we'll edit it in post. <laughs> I'm sure we'll edit it <laughs> All right, so we've got three threes here. Three, three, three. I, three. So for value, I'm going to give it a two and a half. I think it's, um, it's, it's fair for what it is. I, I think it's super unique, but to me, uniqueness doesn't dictate value. So... Um, Agreed. I, agree I, I think for a 46 percenter, um, it's a whiskey, and it's got a great flavor. Um, I, I just personally, I feel as if there's plenty of 20 to 40 dollar ranged whiskeys and bourbons out there that are mind blowing that I give threes to. I think this is very close, so I'm giving it a two and a half at, because this is like double of what I, I think you know I've experienced and you guys have too of um, something that's truly spectacular, and this is very very close. So for me, it gets a 2.5. Um, still a great score. So for totals, that makes it, for me, an 8. And these three guys are all giving it 9s across the board. Are there any blown away bonuses out there? Wow! Giving it a blown away bonus. Reason why. Um, when I compare, when I know that I can, com when, one, when I compare a whiskey with food, it, it makes it so much better. You know, like for me, I don't like to eat, I don't like to drink and eat at the same time. It's just me, right? But if I can think of a food that I would want to drink, or that that I would want to eat, and then also drink um, a good whiskey with, uh, I find it freaking amazing. There we go. 
Here we go. I, I'll give you the blown away bonus. I wow, yeah, another I, blown 100%. away. I loved it, and like I said, it's, for some reason, and I don't know why, yeah. it's making me think of balls. <laughs> Hell. Well, there's been a lot of a lot of the uh, a lot of the chat won't stop about the ball talk. So uh, this is a, a very subliminal balls 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 balls. I think that in our in our new in our new uh, blown away bonus. Oh, I'm blown away like the Maxwell Man in the commercial. Okay. <laughs> uh, blown away was. Listen, I knew that what was going to be in this bottle was special. How can it not when it is perpetually cloaked in darkness? Um, but yeah, this is this is beyond special. It's definitely something that I can see myself drinking daily and breaking out for a special occasion and to wow somebody and to be like, wow, you'd never have anything like it. Yeah, blown away. Fantastic. Blown away? I am not giving it a blown away bonus, unfortunately. Wow. Uh, I'm sticking to my eight. Do you want to get score. blown away? I want to get blown, but not <laughs> away. <laughs> you want to get blown? Blown away. 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 Well, here, let me pour you this gold bar. <laughs> Actually, uh, pour me some away. And, uh, and I think you'd get blown away. Away. Let's see. Let's see how it tastes. Here. Boom. Oh, yeah, let's, did you hear that pour? Pour it right by the mic so people can hear the pour. This is a whiskey review show, not an ASMR show. Ah, uh, good point. What is ASMR? We're not getting into that tonight. <laughs> Um, well, this has been a hell of a show. What a show. Oh, yeah. that, that's it, folks. We're going to keep drinking, but we need to sign off here. My, uh, my, my biggest request from all of you, like I said, just go in the background, find a show of ours, put it on mute, and just run it for us would be a huge help. Get a playlist going. Last, yeah. I'll, get a, I'll get a playlist going. You know, final words? Final words is for those of you who decided to tune in today, because I've been telling you to tune in, you're going to see me lick these balls. Fantastic. right there. <laughs> Everybody drink well, be you well. Just, you just broke the chat. Guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's it's so silent chat. right now because I think people are still like, people just wait, what just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> uh, well, with that, we are the Barrel Buddies. We will stick around for a couple of extra minutes. Um, but we'll do our sign off and stick around. And yeah, we're, extra. so so we're gonna do our sign off, but we're still gonna hang out. We have a lot we'll of people in the bit. chat. We'll start asking. We can answer some chat questions, but. For all intents and purposes, the show's over, so I'm James. I'm Zach. And I'm BJ. Thanks again, Greg, our special guest. It's great guests. to be here. I, lo- I loved you. it. I loved it. I hope to do this again soon. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. And that's a wrap. All right. Yeah. Great show, we're, guys. We're still, great show. We're, we're still technically We'll, we'll keep you rolling here. But we're going to keep it rolling uh, because you guys are our viewing Hours and we, we need got, it. We got. Uh, That's right. our so we'll keep rolling for an extra our, thirteen minutes. Our yeah, we'll keep going. Minutes, yeah, right? make it a full hour. Make it a full hour here. Um, so was it not a full hour? It no. seemed like it. No. We push. We push to keep these shorter because we want. Are you recording this? Yeah. Or yeah. It's, no, this is live. live. This is streaming. This is live. Right? We're streaming oh, right. right now. I said it. Yeah. We'll we'll cut it in post and then. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I will cut keep this. I'll cut this in the AM. Yeah, we'll cut it in the morning. So. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Thanks, yeah, everybody. Yeah. We appreciate you all joining us. Yeah, and this is this is really good. How many people watched that? One? We got up to two eighty, I think, at our at our high point. Wow, That's about two hundred and eighty concurrent viewers. Mm-hmm. Uh, happy hey, birthday, come on, Michael. sub, sub to the yeah, channel. Sub, sub, come sub. On. Yeah, sub to the channel if you haven't already. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sub to our uh, sub to our Insta at The Barrel Buds, and then uh, be checking out our website, thebarrelbuddies.com. We actually have a new newsletter that's going to be dropping um, at the end of this month. We should be having our monthly newsletter go out. Um, I think this month I'm putting together an article on uh, the Superstition Meadery that we went and visited earlier this year. And then we've got lots of live. We're going to be going and doing some visitations at Shram's Meadery, a couple of breweries. Yeah, we got some live shows coming up, folks. So we got so some stuff. Where we're going to be doing some live reviews, distilleries, great meaderies, real places. <clears throat> yeah, a little road action. So a lot of people are saying, "Don't get too drunk for the morning show, Greg." So no, no, no. I'll, I'll be there. Always the morning. Uh, there's plenty of left whiskey. Yeah. Always <laughs> the warning.
There's oh, been plenty of nuts eaten tonight. So. Yeah, there's a lot of I nuts. I ate a lot of nuts and he even licked some balls. Exactly. So, oh, yeah. I ate a lot of nuts and he licked He's balls. got a good base, so he's not going to be buzzed with Trump. He'll be good. He'll be good. Did we have Mr. 1000 tonight? I did not see Mr. 1000 oh, tonight. Oh, man. Mr. Yeah. 1000. Yeah. Subscriber 1000 himself. Hmm. Uh, who we actually think we're going to bring on the show. Yeah, we'd like to have him. So we're going to have oh, Subscriber yeah. 1000 on the show. So for our friends out there, yeah. uh, be on the lookout. Uh, so for those that don't know, uh, I have a friend in the retired retired Navy. He was um, deployed out to Australia for many years, and he recently retired. And at his office, he had these on his desk. And as he retired from work, he gifted uh, us with the balls. And is a dual purpose. Well, and I'll bring it up to the camera since a lot of people are asking. They want to see these in well, person. kangaroo sack. So it's a bottle opener. You think it hangs a little lower than that? And then, <laughs> or do you think there's a little... Can you see it pretty well on the camera? It looks good. Yeah. It looks yeah, good. Yeah. And don't forget, they were licked by... Very minor we people. could like auction these off. We should auction them off. Very unique. Very unique. Uh, little... People are going to be talking about that. You watch on my, on my show. Great lick kangaroo balls. Really? Yes, I did. Yeah. Or people are going to be like, when are you auctioning these off? Yeah, but who can say they did that? Who can say they licked kangaroo balls? Yeah. I can. You can. And you. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a very a fact. unique fact. Come on now. So. What's the one thing that Gregory Manorino has done that most people on the earth has not done? That is lick kangaroo balls. <laughs> for free. There you go. Hello. <laughs> no, we had a lot of pledges for $5. <laughs> so we'll, we'll keep that chat and we'll let you know who to collect from. Uh, yeah. One of these days, we will have the super chat going and we'll. Uh, What's we'll a super chat? Yeah, so the super chat we'll allows you to take the money. So oh. you can start taking yeah. tips. And so but we got to, guys, come on. Let's yeah. do this. And how, many, how many more hours do we need? We need about 3,000. 3,000. Um, okay, okay. Anonymous says, I'll pay 5,000 for those balls. <laughs> 5,000? Sell them, you sold. <laughs> Is that anonymous or no one you know? No, it's anonymous. <laughs> Somebody has anonymously pledged five thousand dollars for the balls. Uh, Let's wrap else. it up. Let's wrap it up. No, oh, wrap it up! I still have nine minutes. No, no, we're gonna we're gonna keep continuing over here and Look, talk. Look, anonymous, five thousand dollars. And talk next show. So everybody, I think that's a wrap. Thank you all for joining us. Hell yeah! Ugh. Any parting words, anyone? Parting words of wisdom before tomorrow's stock opening bell. Me? Yep. Get, oh, no. well, get I, ready for anything? No, no. Let's let's all give a big shout. Are we gonna have a red day, a green day tomorrow? You think? Red. And today, tomorrow's gonna be No, who knows? Really? Who cares? I don't know. I, 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 I hope the market, in money. No, truly, I hope the market falls. I do too. Because the market needs a goddamn pullback. Yep. We haven't had a real correction in the longest time. I've been telling people we yeah. need a correction. Yep. We go higher. The market will fall. We'll find a new bottom. It's going up. The Fed's gonna keep printing money like you have no idea, even more than you can imagine here. And the market's going up by every single dip you can dream about, think about. Uh, and everything else. Period. The end. I can't get over that Jay Powell video of him saying, um, "Yeah, we print money digitally. Just <laughs> we print it digitally." <laughs> Duh. <Yeah>. Duh! <laughs> Hello. He's like, we just add zeros and hit enter. And it just creates the yes. money. Yes. Exactly. Like, and the money is made. And the money is made. Like yes. Wow. Uh, All right, guys. Thank.